it's your game. You make the rules. Everything comes easy. All your friends are in key positions. So when you decide you don't want to play anymore, you never leave empty-handed. Can somebody say golden parachute? <laughs> well, it's not your game. You didn't make the rules. So everything comes hard. As long as you sign to a contract, you're going to take a minority share of the winnings. A select few of us will do well. The majority will not. So as a people, we'll be considered a minority. But stop. Let's take a moment and look at yourselves. There's nothing minor about you. You are a blessed people. You are the most talented on earth and you are still grateful. That is why upon winning in their game, you always thank God. Tonight I would like to ask one favor of you. Imagine what we'll all be like in our own game. Peace and love for one another. Welcome to Connecting the Purple Dots. This is episode two, so let's jump right in. It has long been said that things happen in threes. For example, and such as three male music legends from three different states, all of which would die in three different decades from the same alleged cause of death being related to some form of drug overdose. All three appear to share in the same controversy over their middle names. That's right. Seems each of these music icons' middle names appear to be different than their legal names at birth, as indicated on their birth certificate and many other legal documents used for administrative and other official purposes. The first music legend to begin the controversy over their middle name started with none other than Elvis Presley. Elvis, born Elvis Aaron, A-R-O-N, Presley, on January 8, 1935, as indicated on his birth certificate. Elvis would die on September 16, 1977, and his name listed on his grave marker as Elvis Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, Presley, in all capital letters. The second music legend to encounter controversy over their middle name is Michael Jackson. Michael was born Michael Joe, J-O-E, Jackson, on August 29, 1958. Michael Joseph, J-O-S-E-P-H, Jackson, died on June 25, 2009. It is also indicated in a newsletter to fans from Michael's sister Latoya that Michael's whole name, which was a Christian name, Michael Joe Jackson, the Joe is for our father, whose name is Joe as well. The name Michael Joe, J-O-E, Jackson, has been used on Michael's passport, his driver's license application, as well as legal court documents in the past. It appears as though the name Michael Joseph, J-O-S-E-P-H, Jackson, wasn't used until Michael became a father of children, as indicated here on all three of his children's birth certificates, the name of the father listed as Michael Joseph, J-O-S-E-P-H, Jackson, and also listed on the official record of death or death certificate for Michael, the name listed Michael Joseph, J-O-S-E-P-H, Jackson. So before we move on to the third music legend to have controversy over their name, I thought we might research what exactly a person's legal name or full legal name consists of. As we can see here, by Googling what is your legal name, we come up with a person's first legal name generally 
is the name of the person that was given for the purpose of registration of the birth, which then appears on the birth certificate. So we dig a little deeper and we find this entitled, What's Your Legal Name? Obviously from an attorney's office. And it states, when clients come into my office, I ask that they fill out an intake form. The first question on the form asks for their legal name. Many clients place their first, middle, and last name as it appears on their birth certificate. The legal name of an individual usually consists of a given name, usually assumed at birth, and a surname deriving from the common name of your parents, unless you become married when you may choose to use your husband's surname. Black's Law Dictionary states that your legal name consists of one Christian name and one surname, and any insertions, omissions, or mistakes in your middle name is immaterial. Some people do not have a middle name, but if you do have a middle name, it helps to further identify you. I say again, it further helps to identify you, especially if your first or last name is common. And digging even deeper, we come across this from the Department of Homeland Security. And it states, according to 6 CFR 37.3, Title 6, Homeland Security, Chapter 1, Department of Homeland Security, Office of the Secretary, Part 37, Real ID Driver's License and Identification Cards, Subpart A, General, Full Legal Name Means, an individual's first name, middle name or names, and last name or surname without use of initials or nicknames. So now, on to the next music legend to have controversy over their middle name. Okay. The third most recent music legend to have controversy over their middle name is the greatest music artist of all time, Prince. That's right. Prince was born on June 7, 1958. His given name at birth, as indicated on his birth certificate, is Prince Roger, R-O-G-E-R, -E last name Nelson. Prince died on April 21st, 2016. As indicated on the non-certified death certificate, his name was listed as Prince Rogers, R-O-G-E-R-S, last name Nelson. With all that being said, the question that overwhelmingly seems to present itself here is, how can a person be born with one name and then die with a different or slightly changed middle name? Hmm. The legal answer would be that the person either through a legal petition requesting a name change via the court in which they reside or through marriage. And being that neither of the three music legends mentioned here were married upon death, well, well, look what we just came across. A vehicle registration in the state of Minnesota for a Prince Roger, R-O-G-E-R, -E Nelson. 
from the date of February 1988. Hmm. So if he signed his first record deal in 1977, and he signed it with Prince Rogers, R-O-G-E-R-S, Nelson, then he obviously knew that in February 1988, to do an administrative legal transaction with the state of Minnesota, he needed to use his what? Legal name. In this series, Connecting the Purple Dots, we have researched and made calls to the state of Minnesota to confirm if any such legal petition requesting a legal name change from Prince Roger, R-O-G-E-R, Nelson, to Prince Rogers, R-O-G-E-R-S, Nelson, had been made or on file. The state of Minnesota confirmed no record of such petition was on file. However, if the party has requested that the record be sealed, then they could not see that record to confirm or deny if that record exists. Well, let's just ask that question. Why would Prince want to seal a record requesting his name to be changed or updated it for correction if that be the case. If not, then the standing record would confirm Prince's legal name at death was Prince Roger R-O-G-E-R Nelson. So then who is this Prince Rogers Nelson? R-O-G-E-R-S. And why did Prince begin using this name upon signing his first record deal and all those thereafter? Hmm. Connecting the purple dots. Stay tuned.